Okay, I, the reason why I stand here, um, because I can, okay, and, and I always carry this as a way to identify myself because I am a woman of faith. And I am a believer. Okay, so the reason why I'm here, we're going to talk about this race and social justice uh, situation. And the reason why I'm saying it is because we're going to go back to the issue with Chicago and how many a times when you look at situations as far as race and social justice, you look across the country to see how things are going on in their world and in their environment. And so I'm saying to you, that we have a severe problem. Any time someone that is a representative here as an employee says, are we really different? Are we different? Yeah, we're different. Uh, we came here different. I have differences with you right now because I feel that I'm representative representative of situations that are going on in Chicago right now as a community. And each time that I come down here, it feels that I'm being harassed and abused and really not taken serious about the issues that I have to address every day. I'm talking about day-to-day -day things. So when you talk about race and social justice, I don't know how you can even come together and place a panel of people together and you don't get the poorest of the poorest to sit on the panel at least and let them tell you about how it feels to be treated indifferently and to be abused and harassed day in and day out of, uh, yeah, of their daily lives. So that to me is a farce to sit up there and get people to go to the Pacific Science Center and say you're going to address race in our environment here in Seattle, Washington, which I find it to be on the map for being very, very racist. But you're going to talk about social justice as it pertains to what? Uh, to your liking and to your satisfaction? And it's not going to work with me. It didn't work with me back in the 60s when I was running around here as a teenager. And it's not working for me here now that I'm an adult. And I hope I said something to elevate your consciousness Thank on today. Thank you, Mr. Clint, this chamber. Um, Sam Bell Mills next. Yeah, I'm going to echo what she's saying is that you, you guys, I mean, you guys are, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I mean, we have the same cycle in Seattle again and again and again. You guys are a part of the system that created the chaos that we're in. 2008 collapse didn't happen because of Europe or because of Texas or California or New York. Seattle didn't escape it. It's just, you guys are the people that put the policies in place for us to collapse. You guys talk about social justice. But you can't, or economic justice, you can't speak to that. You can't because you guys make so much money. You come from a class of people different than any other citizen. Why did we create a government? Why do we even have a government in the first place? It's because we have a community that wants to take care of things together. People. People come together. The people want this. But instead of having a people's government, we have aristocratic government. We have you as a group of mafia that work together as a bureaucratic institution. By dotting the I's and crossing the T's, you are killing thousands of people. We have 10,000 people homeless every night. Everyone wants to talk about the 2,000 unsheltered. What about the other 8,000 are just homeless? Yeah, they have a shelter, they have a bed to sleep in at night, an emergency shelter, but they still are homeless. That's 10,000. And then, yeah, half of that is children, 5,000 children. 50,000 need support, 50,000 family need support. Yeah, they need support from you. And why, why don't they get the support? Because the Seattle Housing Authority, which we created, which is the municipal corporation of Seattle, you guys appoint commissioners to that who allow a director to get paid $200,000 a year while they have a wait list. They had 20,000 people apply and only 3,000 get, get the help they need from Seattle Housing Authority because they don't have enough money. Why don't they have enough money? They pay them $200,000. It quadrupled over the last 30 years. So because, and the federal limit is 155000 so they're already stealing the money that we're supposed to be giving to our poor, and you guys aren't investigating. Why? Because you're a part of the cycle and the system with them. They're your friends, and you're their friends. You guys work together to keep the monopoly that you have, and, oh, yeah. and you impose this on the citizens. You need to con We've been coming for so many years. Why don't you call us? One thing I have to say is it has to be right, but you don't want to work on any of that. I'm a community up, member. Sam. Work with me. Work with the citizens that come and complain instead of doing your bureaucratic business. Alex? Thank you.
Hi, my name is Alex Zimmer. You spoke about housing authority. What is we have in housing authority is a fucking nightmare. Forgive me for my expression. I stay in this business for 25 years. I'm expert. We have a dozen and dozen million dollars what is belong to Seattle Housing Authority, King Country Housing Authority, and HUD. If we're talking and talking about this, and everything what is union doing, a very small point, cut, fire all commissioner, bring new blood to commissioner. When new commissioner will... the take it over yourself. Exactly, or fire everybody. Director, fire one another third. It's a nightmare. Five years, we're talking every day about this. Guys, are you freaking idiot? You are generate idiot. You are mafia. You are gangster. How is this possible? If we're talking about this many times, you can have a power fire commissioner. You can do this like this. It never happened for 25 years. And I talk about this from 97. You understand about talking? You guys are mentally sick people. You are psychopath. I cannot find another word. It's nothing close to common sense to business to America. We are normal civilized people, we normal civilized country. What is you did with this country for the last 20, 25 years? You bring to absurd. A mafia. You know what I mean? Without clean this chamber, nothing can be happen. How is this freaking possible? Five years, every day, doesn't complain, you cannot fire one commissioner? How is this possible? Are you idiot? Real idiot? No, you bandita, you gangster. You are mafia, but it's staying all together. Natural selection for last 30 years. Everybody who works for our government right now is a crook, without exception. You cannot be normal, civilized, honest man when you work for government. System don't give you this chance. Take out you. Only crook right now work for government. And you crook number one. You more dangerous crook because we vote for you. And you always betray us for years. So, right now, I speak to everybody who listen to you. Vote for Sam Bellamio. We will change stand up Time. America. Everything. Time's up, Alex. like you supposed to be go home. Alex. Or maybe back to England. Next up is Rebecca Soldania. Thank you very much.